Good day kids! So for today, we're going to do another worksheet and it's about the guitar. We have to uh, learn the different ways on how we're going to, to change the pitch in a guitar. The first one is for us to figure out which pitch is high or low when we are going to uh, use the different strings here. If you have noticed, the strings of the guitar have different thickness. So from the thickest string all the way down to the thinnest string. Okay. So if we are going to pluck the first string here, which is the thickest string, okay, try to listen to the pitch and it's it's a low pitch. Alright. Now as we go down, as it becomes thinner and thinner, all the way to the thinnest string, you will hear that the thinnest string, the pitch is, it's a high pitch. So that's the first one that we uh, can do to change the pitch in a guitar. Now let's go to the second part of changing the pitch on a guitar. So we're going to use the fretboard this time, and this is what we call the fretboard. And we're going to move our fingers along the string okay, on the fretboard. All right. Now we have to you have to listen first on the uh, pitch for an open string. When we say open string, it means that we're not going to press on any string. So like this one. We're going to choose the thickest string. Are you able to listen to the pitch of an open string? Now, let's use the fretboard. The first part is we're going to put our finger on the same string that we have uh, plucked earlier on top of the fretboard okay? and try to listen now how it sounds like Were you able to hear the difference when it was an open string and when I pressed on the top of the fretboard Now, let's try to move our fingers on the bottom at the bottom of the fretboard okay, with this using the same string all right here now try to listen okay i'm going to move my fingers now from the top of the fretboard all the way at the bottom of the fretboard so you can hear the difference on the pitch for the same string okay Ready? So now, the question is, which part is the pitch can be considered as low pitch and which part is a high pitch? Is it on the top of the fretboard for the low pitch or high pitch? or at the bottom of the fretboard for the uh, high pitch or low pitch. Okay, so that's for the second part. Okay, so now let's go to the third part of changing the pitch on the guitar. This time we're going to use the tuning pegs. These are what you call the tuning pegs. So for my guitar, I have six of them because I have the six strings here. Now for each of the tuning pegs here, um, there's there's a corresponding string that it will adjust. So we're going to use the thickest string here. Okay. So we just try to listen first. Okay. So that's the pitch for the thickest string. Now. I will adjust I will be adjusting this one using the tuning pad and try to listen as I adjust it. First one is I will loosen it. Okay. Alright. Now when I loosened it, the the pitch 
became high or low. Okay. So with that, now let's try to tighten, tighten the string. Okay, so have you noticed the difference in on the pitch? So this time, okay, when I tighten the string, is the pitch high or low?